It was 9.30 on a Tuesday morning. I was pretty sure my trench coat fit me a bit better than the day before. I was even beginning to think I'd get the day off. But then... Agent Ford. We have a case. I'll take it. My intuitive detective senses told me this would be no easy task. And I need help from the best of the best. And I didn't need myself. Kia. Kia Kinsley. Here's the case. Look, look at these car wrecks. These cars were made by Ford, Kia, and Honda. They bought their frames from Magnus, yet these people lived? How do you think these people survived? Oh, I know how these survived. It must have been the laser cutting process. The laser process is quite impressive because it involves a focused laser beam that mounts the metal and cuts out specific patterns and designs for manufacturers to use when making the car. It is fascinating, but not what we're looking for. Okay, then it has to be the heat stamping process. Yes, the hot stamp is important. It begins by putting metal into hearth ovens and heats it up to 1,975 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the press is over 800 tons of pressure to force it into a mold. This gives the car flexibility, strength, and makes it lighter. In fact, it even saves money because the cost of material is lower. However, that's just a part of the solution. Okay, well, what about the robotic processes then? The robots do play a very important role. There is the MIG welder, a welding process that joins two metals. The 240 assembly robots could be a possibility as well. But could the welding assembly bots really be what we're looking for? I've got it. This case was not a matter of what, but who. It's the people. It's the engineers, the machinists, the welders, the managers and all the people in leadership. It's the people at Magna that help save those lives. Exactly. 7.45 on a Wednesday morning, and just when I thought I'd get the day off, Agent Ford, we have a case.